Yo, what's good, YouTube? Today I'm gonna show you how to make some fire ass thumbnails. Just straight from y'all's phone, bro, completely for free. From what I'm about to show y'all, you can really make some like some really good thumbnails. Um, it doesn't even have to be just 2K. I'm gonna make a separate tutorial for another game for different type of thumbnails. But this tutorial is for 2K thumbnails, just straight from your phone. And if y'all enjoy, it, make sure y'all drop a like and subscribe, and let's get straight into it. All right, so the first thing you need to do is go to your phone store if you have Apple Store, Play Store, whatever, and you need to download two apps. You need to download Fonto and you need to download Pixar. They're both free and those are the only two apps you'll need for this. All right, the next thing you need to do is you wanna to go to Google and you wanna download um, a background for the thumbnail. So personally, I like to just get the background of the park. I just searched up NBA 2K22 cruise ship and then just downloaded this picture right here. It's just the background for the thumbnail. It's, it's nothing too big. You just want to do this. All right, next you want to download a picture of the color of the theme you want your thumbnail to be. So if you want your thumbnail's theme to be red, you just want to go to Google and you just want to search up like red background and then just download one of these. I just did light blue because I, I just feel like doing it. So yeah, that's what you want to do. Next, you want to open up Pixar. You want to press the little plus sign and you want to go all the way down to color backgrounds and you want to pick the transparent one. Now, once you pick that, you just press next and then you want to save this. Now we're going to open up Fonto to do the text for our thumbnail. So you want to click the little camera and then you want to click photo albums. Then you want to click the transparent one. It should just be all white. You want to click it and then press done. Now we're going to start adding our text. You just want to click it, press add text. And for the thumbnail, I'm going to put how to make 2K thumbnails on your phone. I'm not going to put it all in the same row. I'm going to put it in three separate rows. So the first row, I put how to make. So for the font you want to use, you want to use Ranchers. I just showed you guys right there. I just, I just think it looks the best for thumbnails. Now you want to go to style. And I like to put stroke on it. I put alpha all the way up. And then width, I usually put it on 10. Now you want to press create color pattern and at the top you should see character. If you press that you can put gradient on it. Gradient just makes it look so much better. So for the first line I'm just going to make mine black and gray. Now we got the first line out the way you want to adjust the size and everything. Also as I'm showing right here if you swipe right you can actually curve your text. It makes it look so much better I would like completely recommend doing this. Alright now for the next two lines I'm just going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put a stroke on it. I'm going to put the gradient color on it i'm gonna curve it i'm just gonna put it in the middle right below that um except for the color on this one i'm gonna make a light blue to match the theme of the thumbnail so here i just sped it up to show you guys i'm just doing the exact same thing just adding the gradient color so here i'm just gonna put it right under i'm gonna overlap the first line a little bit and then i curve the text just a little bit so here on the third line i just did the exact same thing again like the same thing i did in the first and second line now this is what mine looks like completely finished now you want to save it so personally i save it as an image i save it as a png and i also save it as a project i do all three of those just to be safe because we just put in all that work and I just do it just to be safe, just in case. All right, now we're gonna open up Pixar and we're gonna create a new project and go all the way down to color backgrounds and you're gonna wanna select a transparent one. Now we're gonna press tools and then crop and we're gonna make it 1280 by 720 cause that's the size of thumbnails on YouTube. Now we're gonna wanna go to add photo and we're gonna add the background of the park that we downloaded earlier from Google. You wanna size it up all the way to cover their transparent background. Now we're gonna scroll over to effects and we're gonna make this picture right here black and white. Now we're gonna add photo again and we're gonna select the color of the theme we downloaded earlier from Google and you just wanna make that cover the whole screen. And then you wanna go to blend and then you wanna go to multiply and then apply it. Now what I do is I go to effects and I always add a blur to the background. The blur I add is called radical blur. I usually bring it down to the bottom like that and then apply it. I think it just makes the thumbnail look so much cooler. Now if you want you can scroll over and add a mask. Um, it's not really necessary. I think it just adds a little bit more detail to your thumbnail. Now we're going to go to sticker and we're going to type in thumbnail in the search bar. You can see me do it right here. Um, this effect that I'm about to put, it just adds some detail. It's the it's the blue laser one. 
make it stretch out all the way turn the opacity down some and then go to blend and then go to soft light and just turn the opacity down to like maybe 20. all right now we're gonna go to stickers again and we're gonna add a 2k my player if you have your own my player cut out you can add it but if you don't you can just go to the search bar type in 2k and you can add one of these my players i would recommend doing one that just has a jersey or something that has a theme of your color and right here i just went to border and i like to put it at like three in black don't put it anymore or else it'll look ugly and you can add a shadow also as you can see me doing also i like to go to effects and i like to put hdr on the 2k player now i'm gonna go over to blend and i'm gonna put it on hard light just so the 2k player can blend in with the background more also go back to effects and go to blur and i like to put focal zoom on it and i like to just drag it on the face i think it just makes the 2k my player look cooler now after i press apply this is what it looks like so far and now we're going to add the text so to add the text you just want to go to add photo and you just want to click the transparent text you made earlier in fonto you can size it and stretch it to make it look however you want now once it's sized and everything you want to go to effects and you want to add hdr to it to just make it pop out more also i like to add radical blur to it just to make the text look a little cooler as you can see how i'm doing right here i just put it in the middle just on radical blur now right here i'm gonna go to border and shadow i'm gonna make the border like really small and i'm gonna put a little shadow on it just to make the text look cooler and pop out more and have more detail now this is how it looks so far after i press apply and we're almost done now honestly you could be done here if you want and this could be your thumbnail but I like to cover the whole thumbnail. So now I'm just gonna add the Pixar logo to it just to cover the thumbnail all the way. And since I'm editing it with Pixar, I think it'll look dope. I just put a filter on it and put some blend to it. And that's how it looks. I'm just gonna put it right here so it overlaps the bottom. I put another one on the top left, as you can see, just to cover more room. But now I'm gonna go to sticker and I'm gonna search up arrow and I'm gonna get a cool little arrow just to cover more room in the thumbnail to point at the text. Now I'm gonna make the arrow black and white and I'm gonna add blend to it just to make it blend into the thumbnail more and here's the finished product of the arrow all right so that's how it looks so far i'm just gonna add one more arrow at the top real quick just to cover more room in the thumbnail i already showed you guys how to do it and everything so here's how it looks after i put that arrow in all right and i'm actually just gonna add one more pixar logo real quick just to cover the top right because it's kind of annoying me that there's nothing there so i'm just gonna add this real quick i'm just gonna put blend on it and put an effect on it just a little filter just to make it um blend in with the thumbnail more and this is how it looks with all of that on there until i press apply and now the final thing we need to do is put a filter on it and then it's completely done so just go to effects and add hdr and after you do that you are completely done with the thumbnail all you need to do now is definitely save it do not forget to save it because then you will just lose all this hard work and now this step is optional or not but after you save it you can go to the main menu of pixar and go to search creators and then type in tyler mendoza um as you can see right here and then go to his stickers and on the third row the second one there's a recording sticker and i like to put it in my thumbnails so you just click that sticker and then click the thumbnail you just made and then you just add it on the edges like this you just make it fit right and then once you're done making it fit you just press apply and now this is how the thumbnail turned out after all of that work i think it looks pretty dope and is made on your phone for completely free so if this tutorial helped you out make sure you drop a like and subscribe and that's it bro go make some fire ass thumbnails